No secret that disastrous weather can leave behind a great deal of damages, both seen and unseen. And Dr. Jane Morgan is the executive director of health at Piedmont Healthcare here in Atlanta and joins us here in the studio to kind of connect all the dots here. So thanks for joining us once again. Good to see you. Thanks, so Paul. it's common for victims of weather disasters to experience like a multitude of uh, emotions here. But what are some of the potential impacts associated with our overall mental health? after going through these sometimes life-altering weather events. And you know, this is becoming more and more common as we have climate change and we see really extreme shifts um, in our weather. And the most common mental health disorder, believe it or not, is post-traumatic stress syndrome from people who have already gone through one disaster and now may be going through a second one and it triggers those emotions. And then we have to think about all of the anxiety, generalized anxiety disorder, because believe it or not, it's not actually when the hurricane or the tornado strikes, it's the anticipation. People like you telling us it's coming for days and days and people start to prepare, that anxiety level goes up. And then we have to remember also vulnerable populations often become cut off completely from health care and medications, also increasing mental health and substance abuse as well. Mm -hmm. So you talked about people, you know, feeling that stress preparing for the storms. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've experienced severe weather before. But what about those who, yes, had to prepare for it, but then lost everything? It's a double dose of stress, anxiety, loss, all of that. What are your tips for managing those feelings? Right. So let's talk about it. That's really grief. And it's also, you know, very similar to experiencing grief with death. You have real loss that perhaps will not be recovered, things that you will not see again that had sentimental value that you love, but also financial impact. And so often that is really in alignment with grief. And that's how that counseling really is done. And it's something to really, really think about as we um, go into the summer months and we have hotter and hotter and hotter days, which can also trigger uh, more emotion. It's not a, um, a, a happenstance that we see more violent crimes in the summer as well. And so as we move into the summer months, we have to think about that. But we also have to think about how it really impacts your emotions with darker days, with lighter days. So what are some of the identifiable, identi identifiable symptoms um, that you can maybe do a self-check on yourself? Mm -hmm. So, you know, are you feeling isolated? Um, are you talking as much with other people? What are your interactions? Um, are you um, having avoidance behavior? Are you over medicating? Are you under medicating? These can all be symptoms that you may be struggling with some mental health issues, even though you may not, you may think that you're coping very well. But these may actually be little signs that that uh, may be coming. And I know we've had this, you know, um, solar um, events and auroras. You know, when we, when we look at this, they're beautiful, but they can also interrupt biological and circadian rhythms as well in people. So menstrual cycles and sleep and so we have to think about that as beautiful as it is there might be some little interruptions and some people have uh, mood disorders as well I got to keep top of mind because May is mental health awareness month so thank you so much Dr. Jane Morgan with Human Healthcare for joining us once again thank you we appreciate it